Hey guys, welcome to a review of the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 after 330 miles. Hey guys, we've got the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35 here. This is my second pair. Um, I've been lucky enough to have a couple of pairs of these. Uh, the first I got right, uh, around August 2018. Put about 230 miles into those before I retired them. Used them for training um, and some races as well. Um, and this second pair I picked up around about October time and put about 100 miles into these. And they're holding up pretty well. Uh, mainly I've just been using this pair for uh, training purposes and some easy runs. Um, it's been a great shoe for me, so I'm going to go through several different aspects of it, uh, several different attributes of the shoe, and you can make your own minds up on uh, whether to pick up a pair. So firstly to talk about the fit of the shoe. Um, I found this shoe true to size. I'm a UK size 11, so that's a US size 12. Um, I've had no fit issues at all really. I um, found it a nice roomy shoe. It's very accommodating, certainly in the toe box. Um, you've got a kind of mesh underneath this um, sort of uh, knitted material at the front. There's lots and lots of room there. Somebody with a wider foot will have no problems wearing this shoe. Um, there's loads of room in the toe box. Uh, I've had no issues in terms of rubbing or blistering or anything like that. I've got a relatively narrow foot, um, but I know lots of other people um, who've picked up a pair of these shoes and they've had no issues whatsoever in terms of the fit around the toe box. Um, around the upper, um, you've got the flywire uh, cables. I'll throw a, a detailed image of those up onto the screen, um, which also has these plastic, uh, this plastic reinforced section here. Um, I found the shoe to be uh, a great shoe in terms of lockdown. You can really get a good locked feel. Um, it's got the extra eyelets at the very top here, so you can use a runner's knot if you want to. Um, I tend to do that on these shoes. Um, so a really great fit. Always seems like it's sort of hugging your foot. I've never had any issues with it kind of feeling like it's it's digging into the top of my foot whatsoever. Um, the laces do have some stretch to them and I found those to be really great. I've never had any problems with them coming undone um, during uh, runs so uh, that's something to note. In terms of the back section of the shoe, so uh, around the heel cup area, um, no real problems there either. You've got this kind of um, section that kind of flicks outwards um, I've never had any problems with rubbing at all with the uh, with the heel. It's slightly more padded around the heel section, um, and it kind of it's slightly like like a cup, I guess. Um, it sort of holds your heel in there. I know that Mo Farah's had a very special version of this shoe created where it's kind of they've lopped the back section of this off because he has Achilles problems, but I can't see it being an issue. I don't even really feel that it's there at all um, during runs. You, you you just don't feel it there, so. That's something to note. Some people have had some problems with the tongue. I mean, it is, as you can see there, it's quite pronounced. It's quite a high tongue. I haven't had an issue with it rubbing whatsoever. Um, this has been a really comfortable shoe for me. I've never had any problems wearing this. You know, I've had two pairs, 330 miles. I've had no issues, no blistering, no problems. It's always been a comfortable shoe to, to me. So in terms of fit, it certainly feels like a, uh, a shoe that locks you in, it's cushioned and it feels nice and plush, um, no issues there, so the thumbs up in terms of fit. Moving on to the feel of the shoe guys, so um, within the uh, Pegasus 35 you've got a full length um, zoom uh, unit within the midsole. Um, it certainly feels cushioned, um, it's a little bit more of a, a cushy kind of ride, the midsole itself um, it feels quite different to React. Um, it does feel like a more traditional kind of uh, midsole. I found on the first pair that it started to bottom out around about 210 miles. 
I started to feel a bit of a pain in the ball of my left foot. Um, and I put that down to the, uh, the the zoom unit in the front area here starting to bottom out. So I retired that first pair. Um, I've not had any issues with these. They're a comfortable shoe. I've been using them really up to the paces around five minutes per kilometer. Um, maybe a little over that, a little under. But that's kind of the my sweet spot really for these shoes. Um, they're a really good like easy day shoe, a really good shoe to, to put on your feet if you're gonna go and do a long run and you just want that more cushioned feel. Good for recovery runs, those, those kind of things. So quite a good utility shoe really. In terms of the road or um, surface feel, the outsole has a number of these kind of nubs uh, which get larger and more elongated as you get towards the bottom of the shoe. There's no significant wear to note on this pair but I will flash up some images of the first pair I had. So after about 230 miles, there was quite significant wear at the back of the shoe and around this section here. But in terms of the feel of the shoe, uh, it's certainly a, a cushioned feel um, up to those sort of 200 plus miles. Um, it, was a, it was a great shoe. Um, retired now um, and for good reason, but a great shoe up to that point. Thinking a little bit about value of the Pegasus 35, obviously when they first released these um, shoes back in, uh, I think it was probably July, June, July time, um, they were retailing for over a hundred pounds. Now, of course, with the uh, coming Pegasus 36, these shoes will be dropping in price. You can probably pick up some really great deals um, on these shoes, um, so do look out for that. I picked up my second pair uh, in JD Sports for about £60 back in October, so if you do keep your eyes open, uh, keep your wits about you, you can pick up a really good deal. The Nike uh, website is a good place to start. Sometimes they'll have some really great deals, so you can get a, a really great value shoe. Um, it's quite versatile, um, great for easy days, long runs, training in general, you could race in these shoes, there's no reason why not, but for a really great price, so so do look out for those. A couple of important things to add, guys, in terms of the uh, distances that I've gone in this shoe. Um, I've done anything between sort of 5k, 3 mile park runs in this shoe, right up to some longer, slower paced uh, runs up to about 11 or 12 miles. I can say I've experienced no pain whatsoever in this, uh, in this shoe, in the Pegasus 35. Um, they've been a really good shoe for me, very reliable, hard wearing, uh, pretty easy to clean, although this kind of knitted material here does get pretty um, pretty dirty over time. The, the dirt seems to sort of stick in, in there. The dirt and uh, mud kind of gets into that. Uh, it's quite tough to get rid of it. Um, but still, as you can see, this, this shoe, predominantly grey and white, it's still looking pretty good here after a clean up. I've utilised the shoe um, on some road surfaces, they've been really great, there's really good traction in terms of the uh, nubs on the bottom of the shoe. Um, I've used it on grass and that's been okay, uh, the, the overall Montague Park Run uh, is typically on grass um, and I've used it, utilised it for that and it was absolutely fine, uh, did pretty well. Um, going up some of the hilly sections perhaps not so good but um, in the main works okay on grass. Uh, I've used it on some trail type uh, surfaces as well. I'm not talking proper trails, sort of mu very muddy or wet um, trails, but um, places with um, some dirt tracks and some small stones and rocks. Um, and the Pegasus 35 held up really well. So certainly a bit of a utility shoe. You could use it for all sorts of things. If this is gonna be your one and only shoe for running, um, I certainly would recommend it to you. Okay guys, that's about all I've got for you today. I hope you've enjoyed the review of the Nike Zoom Pegasus 35s. Please subscribe and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video and I'll be seeing you.